Hello everyone and welcome to the first installment of the new Commerce Park review series named after the layout in which I will be testing the trains on the FEC Commerce Park Industrial District. But well, not everything that's going to be tested on this layout is FEC. In fact, what I'm going to be reviewing today is a Norfolk Southern Admiral Cab SD40-2 produced by Scale Trains for the Rivet Counter Series. It's a beautiful model from the pictures. Now we're going to find out how it looks in person. I'm sure it is a beautiful model in person too. Let's find out how this model looks, how it's going to run, and go through all the details. Now what is kind of interesting about the situation here is that I bought this model in July of 2019 and I never opened it since then. You can see the seal, the company seal is still pretty solid here. Um, reason being, I don't really model NS that much. I just do it recreationally. I'll run an NS train here and there like a, like a 214 or a yeah, stack train, a manifest train. So really modeling their local operations is not a priority for me. We're gonna open it up. Your first look at this model on my end is the same as my first look, I promise. <laughs> of course, with the model comes the operator's manual with all with a bit on the DCC setups, uh, programming functions, etc., and some contact information for scale trains, some protective foam sheeting, and voila. And that's 3238, an Admiral SD40-2. Unit comes complete with all of the scale trains rivet counter details, MU hoses, brake line, ditch lights, LED ditch lights for that matter, LED headlights, number boards that do light up, um, sunshades, detail parts, you name it. And to my understanding, these units are road number specific as well in detail. Um, this is a look at the fireman side of the unit. You can see also the fireman side window is open. And there's some interior detail as well. The flash kind of saturated itself there, and there's the nose of the unit and the plow. Very, very nice, very realistic, high detail, crisp paint. Now a lot of people were complaining about, I believe, these uh, these sanding lines, I believe they are, um, that they, they could kind of stick and interfere. Um, we'll see how it plays out. I kind of see some of the grievance, but it uh, doesn't look too bad. I'm going to switch over to the engineer side. Engineer side, also as good as the conductor side. Very, very, very nice. So really, I mean, there isn't much to say or ramble about. Let's actually just go straight into firing up the engine and giving a little test run. Comes so programmed with an Nathan P5. This light's already on. Let's fire her up. Comes with a lock sound. I believe this would be a V5. It's a 2019 time frame. It will say on the box, probably says on the manual. But the sound is the same sound file that you would hear on other SD40s. The lights flash beautifully. Comes with a nice mechanical bell. And of course, since this is a very shakedown, kind of shakedown run, <laughs> there may be occasional stutters in the run process, but this is actually the first movement of this locomotive since I purchased it. Now, for layout perspective, we are at uh, Omni Transloading on the FBC. We're moving on the old Kendall branch. And on the right is the Commerce Park team track. I can see how the, uh, I believe those are the sanding lines coming into play because they're just kind of creeping inside of the rail. That may affect its performance past the uh, turnout.
So far, so good. Now, a bit of sad news regarding this locomotive, and it's that due to my model, railroad interest kind of changing and me wanting to focus more on FEC and CSX down here, something unfortunately has to give, and that'll be Norfolk Southern Locals. So I'm going to be selling the uh, 3238 to a friend of mine who has wonderful, wonderful plans for this, and I, I hope he really enjoys it, and I wish him nothing but the best with this locomotive. Um, that being said, don't let my choices discourage you from getting this model. It's beautiful and it works perfectly for any Norfolk Southern scene or even any of the uh, various operators that they may have sold some of the prototypes to. So depending on what you want to model, this unit is perfect for you. Hope you have enjoyed the review. Hope you have found the material useful, especially in your decisions towards buying this unit. I say big yes. Um, and of course, if you want to see more, you got to make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And uh, while you're at it, feel free to leave a like and a comment. I will answer your comments and keep the dialogue going. Thanks again from HQ at the Commerce Park layout. This is TE out.